Hey guys, what's up? Uh, my name is Sean Result, and welcome to my new series. So in this series, we're going to be um, going through the South African computer computer programming Olympiad papers. Um, if you are already watching my uh, my other Delphi training series, where I basically teach you the, 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 the Delphi language from um, the start of the from the basics till the advanced stuff then you might um, like this series where I'm basically using this stuff and completing um, problems and solving problems um, if you don't if you haven't yet seen the series then go and watch it I'll link it in the, in the description of this video <coughs> and also all the all the all of the future future videos also so this video also gives me a, gives me a chance to um, Kind of advertise my app so this is my app that, that programming helper so go to I'll also link the app in the description go to test paper show all school round of South African Olympiad so let's start with the um, 2000 paper <coughs> okay so I'm going to be solving and reading this um, uh, I'm going to be solving and reading the Problem, problem, problems with you guys and also to try and solve it like live so yep let's start question one you can look here if you want to task take a positive full number n as input and print the times table multiplication table up to n input a positive full number n output there will be in the rows of output in the first row show the values you guys can read that so basically if we input 5 it will basically display the times table up to 5 like this and then it and then they give us um, 9 and 13 to test to test it with so let's <coughs> try and do this so with the whole number so let's add a spin edit component change the font size to that add a button uh, click the it let's just align the form in the Oh, shows a in the uh, screen center button for B16. <coughs> Let's add a memo to display the stuff in memo bottom. And I can just make the font also 16. <coughs> Sorry, guys, for my sniffing. Uh, my eyes are stuffed, but. Yes, they want the positive whole numbers input. Let's start by doing that. We will be we, we will be doing this with two for loops. Also, let's first um, do the make two variables for the for loop. Then the variable for the whole number, which is n integer integer. Okay. Let's add an s string we will use this to basically um, create this string of one two three four five and and then basically basically display it after we have uh, added added all of those stuff so I okay let's first start by clearing the memo four I four one one to end to begin for I for two. I actually did compete in a in Olympiad in grade 9, 10, 11 and 12. Um, grade 9 to 11 I got about between uh, 40 and 60 um, each year percent. 
so not a genius in this. Um, this year, I got 12, I competed again. I was going to get um, 100%, but I didn't have enough time to submit my answers, so I lost. I didn't have the last question correct, like, yeah, here is my three questions for 2016. Everything is correct, works, but uh, I didn't have time to submit the last question, so I got it wrong. And, yep, sadly. Anyway, okay, so what, we, what, will, what will we do? Let's make the S string empty here. set is string equals to is string plus empty space plus n for now let's play it here we one dot lines dot add s dot not s dot is string okay Would be need to be. Uh, let's see. To give us one, two. I for one. Repeat five times. Times by four, not by four, but n. Let's go. Oops, I've converted this dot to stream. Is not doing anything. Oops, I never said a value to n in canonicals spin at one dot text, not text value dot value. You had five here, you don't do that. Okay. This step, guys, it basically works. As you can see, let's add this one. <coughs> so let's test it with nine. Nine. That's nine. And here is thirteen. So the program seems to be working. Uh, yep. So let's go back to the code. How did I do this? Ah, oh, code. Okay. <laughs> so basically, what it does is it takes, it starts by setting it the string to empty. Then it, um, in a second loop, basically takes a string and then add a space to it. And then it adds, it just basically multiplies the the first one. The first loops variable to the second one and then space it when it's, when it's done adding it i'm uh, doing it number of n times which is five and basically how you do this question so thanks for watching guys please make sure to like comment subscribe and share and i'll do question two now <laughs> bye